The Microceratus is one of the many dinosaurs to appear in Jurassic World Dominion and is one of the many Ceratopsians to appear in the Jurassic Park franchise. And honestly, it's the most weird looking. So in this video, I'll be talking about everything good and bad about the Microceratus in Jurassic World Dominion. Fun fact, the Microceratus was actually called a Microceratops at one point, but then was changed to Microceratus because it, Microceratops was already taken by a species of beetle. That species of beetle is now known as a nomondubium or a fall species. So now you can call it either Microceratops or Microceratus. I just prefer calling it Microceratus because it sounds a lot more unique. First, I'm going to start with all the inaccuracies, then I'll start with all the accuracies. The first inaccuracy is the head. The head is pretty inaccurate as the frill shape is way too large and resembles more Protoceratops than actually Microceratus. The cheek spikes are a little too small and rounded, and the eye placement is very weird. It's placed way too close to the nostrils, making the Ceratopsian look super weird. Next are the arms and hands. The arms are way longer than in real life, and also the, f the hands look way too much like bird feet. It literally looks like they just pasted bird feet onto the hands. Also, the hands are pronated. Yes, Ceratopsians don't have pronated wrists. In fact, they had their hands kept in an inwards hand position like theropods. It's pretty obvious starting off with their early relatives like Curianosaurus and Microceratus, and they kept their inward hand facing position even throughout their quadrupedal forms. Cer Triceratops, Stracosaurus, Cynoceratops, all those guys had their hands in an inwards hand position. Also, the arms would have actually been a lot smaller in real life. It's also a shrink wrapped, which is another inaccuracy. The skin is very tight around the skull, and you can even see, like, the bones and the holes in the skulls through the skin. Like the eye holes and the holes in the frill, you can see all of that. Like with all dinosaurs, Microcerat is didn't have their fenestres and stuff exposed, and instead, it would have been covered in layers of skin. Another inaccuracy is the tail. The tail looks way too much like later Ceratopsian tails, instead of how early Ceratopsian tails would have looked like. Early Ceratopsian tails would probably have like a fan or a sail type of design. I can't really describe it as well, so I have this image up here. They would have also had quills on their tails, which is the type of feathering that Ceratopsians most likely had. I don't know if everyone is going to see this detail, but the Microceratus' feet almost look like they're a little too big. I'm not saying that they're oversized like in many dinosaur toys, but they look slightly bigger than how the Microceratus' feet would have been like in real life. Alright, now that we're done with all the inaccuracies, time to move on to the accuracies. Now, the first accuracy I could see is that the Microceratus is accurately portrayed to be very small, as it was a very small Ceratopsian. The Microceratus also has round, bird-like pupils. Now, most dinosaurs most likely did have round, bird-like pupils, but there are many dinosaurs that probably didn't have this type of eye. Some probably had barbed pupils, like seen in many animals, like goats. Ceratopsians probably did have barbed pupils, though this is probably only seen in a few species, like maybe Pachyrhinosaurus, for example, had barbed pupils, while Triceratops had round bird-like pupils. So the Microceratus having round bird pupils is a plausible accuracy. The proportions of the Microceratus seem accurate, except for the head, arms, tail, and maybe the feet. With the head being the wrong shape, the arms being too long, the feet, I think, being too big, and the tail not being the correct, well, shape. Now, these are not accuracies or inaccuracies, but something I want to point out about the Microceratus in Jurassic World Dominion. The three Microceratus we see in the film have really, really nice patterns and colorations. I really like them, and they look pretty awesome in my opinion. Also, credits to go to whoever made these drawings. They're pretty cool in my opinion. Alright, that was everything good and bad about the Jurassic World Dominion Microceratus. If I missed anything, tell me in the comments below. Anyways, goodbye everyone.